I'm Nico Halili, and welcome to The Score, where we tackle the hottest and trending topics in sports. The UAP Season 81 Women's Volleyball Final Forecast is complete, and all that's left to be determined are the final seedings. Now today, we'll discuss the motivation that drives these teams now that the real battle begins. Joining us today to help us out with that discussion, we have Z Hervasho, Michelle Gumabao, and Phil Kainglet Cayetano. Hi, guys. Hi. All right, back to work here on The Score. And normally, we talk about key players, but today will be different. I'm going to ask you about what motivates the final four teams in wanting to win a championship. And let's start with the Ateneo Lady Eagles. Z, what is Ateneo's motivation to try and win a championship this year? I think they want to show everyone that they have what it takes to be a final contender. So for them, I think it's to get back to the finals. Last year, they uh, were during the semis. And um, the, pre the year before that, um, they almost had a chance against La Salle. So this time around, they're number one seed in the top four. And I think they're going to take that and use it to go until the finals. So for Z, it is getting back to the finals. Yes. That's the number one motivation for Ateneo. Phil? For me, man, it's more of proving themselves because they have a new coach, new system this year. So everything's new. And for them to prove themselves, it's about time. Sabi nga ni Z, it's about time to get back to the finals and regain, regain the crown. Because statistics-wise, ang lakas nila. Idol ko sila. Like blocking, <laughs> blocking, spiking, attacking. They have it all. It's about time that they go to the finals and win the championship. Michelle, mo number one motivation for Ateneo, what is it? It's their winning mentality. They've, they've established that all throughout the eliminations round. They have the best record. They're at number one. So they have that mentality that everybody sees it and has witnessed that all throughout. And they just have to bring that in the finals. So it's, a, it's showing that they have a winning mindset. Number one motivation for Ateneo, according to Michelle Gumabao. Let's go to the La Salle Lady Spikers. Z, what is motivating La Salle to win this year? I think it's a matter of fortifying their legacy. Uh, this year, they're gunning for a four-peat. Mm -hmm. Sino ba yan? For, for number fortifying. <laughs> oh, 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 hashtag, <laughs> fortify the legacy. Oh. Fortifying the legacy. Okay. Um, so we know that they have that culture in themselves. Na talagang the animal spirit. And through time, it's been tested na it's, it's their thing. It's their brand um, being a championship team. And I think they have key ingredients like Das Cheng leading them to that kind of uh, level in the volleyball community. I think, yeah. Felico, you Since, share, no? Part of their like legacy. Beginning no? their legacy na for so long, three feet lang sila, three times. Lang, you know, lang. Uh, yeah. Three feet lang sila. <laughs> three feet lang, right you know. now, it's like they're gunning for four-peat championship. And feeling ko, ito na ba yung pinaka-pinnacle ng career ni Coach Firmin? Kasi kahit meron siyang 11 championship record, iba pa rin yung makapag-four-peat ka. It's like making a stand, fortifying nga na parang they're untouchables. Like, no one can beat them. Ganon. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Toto as si Michelle. Eh. I love hearing about this. Love the fact that it's coming from Z and Phil. Para si Michelle, yes. It's, this is good. Go, go. Okay, motivation for the Lady Spikers. Uh, what is it, Michelle? For me, it's the pride that they are the defending champions. They have that three-peat under their belt. And they just want to extend it. Hopefully, not just the four-peat this year, but... You see their lineup, you see how they are playing, and they can do it. They they already showed that in the elimination round. So yung pride nilang talaga na ayo talaga nila magpatalo. What would that mean for, for La Salle to win a four peat? It's the first time in La Salle history. It's not the first time in the UAAP. So it's just a big thing because we tried to do that before and hindi talaga nakayanan. So it's a good um, gift to Coach Remil for all his hard work, syempre. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's go to UST. Z, number one motivation for UST. What is it? Um, the fact that they're back in the Final Four. I think it's a matter of bringing back the glory to España. Um, ever, well, years before, uh, UST has been the powerhouse of um, volleyball, and um, this time they have CC Rondina and A. Laure to help them gain back the crown. 
to Espanya. <laughs> I do agree. It's their time to regain their legacy. Because there was a time there were 70 champions and yes. a notable player, Tita Mozi Ravenna, pa nung time yon. And to know na powerhouse talaga yung UST, kung dati UST and Lasal ngayong rivalry eh, instead of Ateneo Lasal. But for them to regain that, as I said nga before, nung beginning pa lang na season, they have something to prove. They want to be back in the finals and it's their time na. And with CCNA nga, it's more the probability of their them getting to into yeah. the finals is bigger and higher. Now, speaking of CC, Michelle, I think CC has something to do with yung tingin mong number one motivation for USD. You know, she has that she's been a leader, a constant leader for USD all throughout her five years and this is the year that she is about to graduate so a big motivation for the team is to give her a championship in her graduating year because that is the biggest gift you can give to a senior and you know, Cece is one of my idols in the UAAP I would love to see her graduate with a championship Yes, same. Hindi lang sa beach court, but yeah. also in the hard court. Same. All, all three analysts are, <laughs> would be very happy to see CC win a championship uh, on her way out of the UAP. Okay, FEU, Z, number one motivation for FEU to shock the world and win a title. Um, it's pretty much the same with UST. Um, I believe FEU also would want to bring back the crown in Moraita naman this time. Um, before Ateneo, before La Salle, um, it was also FEU who was one of the powerhouses in women's volleyball. And this time, although Laika Ebon is missing in their lineup, I think it's a matter of time, like for example, Jerry Malabanan to step up, not just as uh, their team captain, but also in terms of providing, contributing points for their team. And we don't know. Last year, they made it to the finals, and w they might surprise us this time around and do well, a repeat. Well, Z brings up an excellent point that a lot of the players on this team may finals experience mm -hmm. now. Yes. And, uh, and that ties up to the motivation that you have in mind, Phil. Yes, of course, th they were in the finals last year. And, of course, they want to fight for that pride that, oh, finals team, kami, lahat kami may experience a championship. So there's their pride that they're still a strong contender. They're not just happy, oh, final four kami. They're still, they still want to beat Ateneo. They, they believe they can beat Ateneo. They so, beat yeah, so, yun nga, yeah. so they're still in the um, in our lineup of, like, malay mo, bilog ang bola. They can defeat Ateneo. I think it's bakanga for FE, it's more than the Malay mo. Yeah. It's something stronger, Deva Michelle. It's their killer instinct, and I think that is what will motivate them because we've seen it. We've seen it in their games versus Ateneo that you mentioned, in their games versus UP in that last second round, straight sets you and so you see that in FEU, it's just really not consistent. And they have that championship experience. They know how to work under pressure. So coming into the semifinals, that killer instinct that they have within them will be able to motivate them to win versus the number one team. You know, if the three of you were to give a motivational speech to the Lady Tamaras, <laughs> Phil, you would... So, kunyari, kunyari, Phil, ikaw, inimbita ka ni Coach George. At saka, Phil, kusapin mo ng mga player, you'd probably tell them have pride as contenders. That's, yes. what, that's what you would tell them. And killer instinct. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, so those are the primary motivations for all four teams in the final four coming from uh, our analysts with tremendous credibility uh, in, this, uh, in this department. Because you're so credible, can you please invite the volleyball fans to go to our Grand Fans Day, uh, Z? Yes, um, we're inviting everyone, inviting everyone on Thursday, April 25, 12 noon at the Trinoma Activity Center. Um, it's going to be the SNA Grand Fans Day. So, makita niyo po kami and our teammates and other teams also. Uh, to register, go to ktx.com.ph and hopefully we'll see you at the meet and greet. Phil? Yeah. Yeah, see you there. <laughs> Alam ko, my fun games for you and meet and greet and my fashion show daw. So, sinong narampa? Si Ma si MG? Yeah. <laughs> Sir Miko? Uh, no, no. Michelle, uh, why did you invite the fans to take part in the uh, Grand Fans Day? Our Fans Day last year was super fun. So, I hope you guys show up and meet everybody in Chinoma Activity Center. So, sana magkita-kita tayo doon lahat. It's gonna be our prelude to our season. So, makikita nyo lahat ng maglalaro, especially the imports and the PVL. Wait, so are, are you guys participating in the, the fashion show? I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's a surprise. 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 Surprise.
Thank you, Z. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Michelle. When we return, we'll shift our attention to hoops as we discuss the PBA Philippi Cup semifinals and the MPBL finals with our guest analysts, the trigger man, Alan K. Dick, and the defense minister, Jerry Cotinera. So don't go away.